Reese Pieces. Hey, I just wanted to film a quick video to show you an awesome product. I love it. It's for your filing cabinet. Now, my filing cabinet used to be a huge disaster with, you know, folders just stuffed to the brim with things. And every year or so, I'd decide that it's finally time to go through it and sort through it. And it would take me hours to go through it all. So I found this product. It's called Freedom Filers. And I've seen it, some <clears throat> some other people use it, and I decided to give it a try. It was, I think, around $30, so I told my husband I was buying it, and he thought I was crazy spending $30 on a filing system. But it's totally worth the money, and now he agrees. So let me show you a little bit about this product and show you my filing cabinet and how amazing it is, how helpful it's been to organize. Even my husband now can put things back, knows where things are. It used to be he'd ask me, well, where's our manual for this or receipt for this or whatever. Now he knows exactly where they are. He can go find them himself. He doesn't have to ask me. And he knows where to put his credit card receipts or random things that come in. So let me show you. I love it, love it, love it. I think it's a great product. I've told everyone I know about it. So let me show you my friend. Okay, so before I show you the actual cabinet, here's um, what you get. You'll get this this envelope, and it comes with this pack, and it comes with the booklet to tell you what to do. And then it also has some um, the stickers, actually, <clears throat> that you can put on your filing tabs. And so, this book shows you everything that you, you need to know. So there's different colored tabs for different things so monthly tabs things that you get every month like your account statements for electric and water or receipts that you you buy stuff for taxes deductions um work expenses stuff like that then there's red these are permanent so these are things that you're going to keep um let's see if i can there we go um stuff that you're going to keep forever, so certificates and IDs, stuff about your health, your pets, things for your vehicles, warranties, and then you have orange things for your account terms, benefits, insurance, those things um, you remove and replace, so you get one and you replace it, and I'll show you these in my cabinet, um, and then you, you have your archive stuff for your taxes for 10 years, because you're supposed to keep taxes for 10 years. Um, I like this because... You, do, you set it up once and then you don't really have to worry about cleaning things up and filing again and, and all that stuff. Um, and it keeps your things for the exact amount of time you need them. So like for example, monthly stuff. It, your monthly stuff will end up being there for two years. And this is stuff that you don't really need for longer than two years. Your tax, your tax stuff you'll keep for 10 years. And once 10 years is up, you don't really need tax stuff for longer than 10 years. So it's a filing system that kind of files as you go and you don't need to keep things for longer than necessary. So it comes with this booklet that shows you what to do and then it comes with all these sheets of stickers and you can see I've used some of them and this is just for labeling your files. Now it doesn't come with the actual file folders, you have to buy those separately um, and so I just bought gray ones so they all match. So let's take a look at my filing cabinet. I just have a boring filing cabinet here that I got at a thrift store and one day I'm going to paint it and it's going to be cute and maybe put stencils on it but for now it's ugly and black but inside is nice and pretty and organized so you can see here up front these are the monthly tabs these are green and these are for um, they have one for each month and it's for everything that you would get in a month, like random receipts or your water bill, your electric bill, your gas bill, your phone bill. I used to have a file for each one of those, so I'd have a gas bill file, I'd have an electric file, and I just had tons of them, and I had to have like, you know, a whole year um, of one for one bill, and that was just kind of a waste of space, it was hard to organize. So with this, anything that you that comes in in January, that you pay in January, just goes in a January folder, and then you forget about it, and then you move to February. So, I have little clips on mine. Right now we're in August, so anything that comes in, um, bill, random receipts, we put in August, and my husband knows it's for August. Now I run a business, so I also have these blue business folders um, that, I, that I put my, well let's see, these are, sorry, first let me back up. These are tax folders so if you donate somewhere um, and so you have some kind of 
tax deduction, you put that information in here. If you have, you know, business income or, um, uh, what are, you know, receipts from from your work, time cards, stuff like that, they go would go in here. And then other things like child deduction stuff for that. But then behind that, I have my business stuff. So I actually have a folder for each month for my business. So anything I buy that month, receipt rise goes in that folder. And then I, I just have it marked too because we're still in August. So that's my August business folder. So these things go in here and then you have the entire year and they say, I don't know if you can see, I'm not really zooming, but these all say odd year. Now there's a set of green odd years. And if you go to the back of my cabinet, there's a set of green even years. So this whole set of green will switch next year and I'll put the even set up here and the odd will go in the back and we'll just file it the same way and each year you switch them back and forth and then when you come up to let's see here my camera's so shaky when you come up to the next month so we're in August but we're about to be in September so now I still have all these papers from last year's September but after two years, which it will be this year, next year, and then you come up back up to September, I don't need these anymore. So you actually just take everything out of here and get rid of it. And now you have an, an empty one. And you just do that each month, switch them back and forth between the greens each year. And it's it's an awesome system and it, it keeps everything down. So I have two greens, even an odd year. Same with the blue for my business stuff. Then you have the red. Red is permanent, so this is stuff you'll keep forever, like information about my career, my health, my husband's health, um, education, home things, um, investments. This is where I keep our warranties and manuals, um, warranties and manuals for the kitchen, stuff for the car if you have um, service on your car. So anything like that is all kept in these, and it's just permanent. Orange is for things that you get in and then you might get another one in the mail maybe next year or something. This is the rotating filing system. So if you get your home insurance form for the year, has information, well you always get that updated, you know, each year. So you don't need to keep five of the same books. So when you get the new one in, you stick it in and you take the old one out. So you always only have like one thing basically in each one. Um, utility info, if there was something specific you know, that you were getting rotating, you'd put that in there and rotate it out. Um, let's see what else. Like association stuff. If I have an association bill that comes and I, I um, or some information about it, I would put it in here. And then once I get the next year's or the next month's or whatever, then I toss it. And like I said, back here is just more of the green. So I'll switch those out next January with the other green. So it's a, it's a self cleaning kind of filing system. If you put things in, you take it out. Um, and then as far as the month, the new month starts, you take the old stuff, get rid of it, and, and start with the new year. So that's like the main area. And then down below in the second drawer, this is more kind of random stuff. So this is like where I would keep actually my filing index, is where I keep all the extra stickers and everything right in this filing index, and that's the very first one. And then behind it, I keep purple stuff. So sometimes I'm looking through magazines or online, and I'm like, ooh, I find something really good on Pinterest or online, and it's a really good, like, cleaning um, form or something for cleaning or to-do list. So I keep that kind of stuff in these. And these are just kind of random resource files. There's how-tos if you find, I don't know, here's some sewing how-tos I found. Home design, so let's see. I found different, like, Pinterest ideas that I printed off that I wanted to do, I put it in there. Health and fitness, there's a whole bunch of just random stuff. So if you have a lot of papers that you're, you know, printing off or finding in magazines and they're just cluttering up your house, this is a great way to kind of sort those. And then behind that, this is the tax stuff. So it just goes for each year, it goes for 10 years. And so you just put stuff in. So we're in 2015. So anything like tax related kind of things that I get in right now, I just kind of stick in here and then it'll be I take this and all the deduction files from up in this cabinet. You know, you would take all your deduction, let's see, these from your deduction folders, and you'd use that for your taxes, and it's all ready to go. Then once it's all done, you stick it back in year five, and you're good to go until, let's see, so this will be for 2015, then 2025, 
you would pull that out again. So then 2016 you have a file and so it just goes back. So I have stuff here from um, 2009, um, 2000, 2001, 2, 3, 4 and it just stays in here. Here's last year's goes in the back and it just stays in there for the 10 years and then once you're once you come up to the next year so um, like, let's see here's 2000 once we get to um, 2020 the stuff will get tossed and I'll file the, that stuff in here so it's it's really a great system it's keeping all my files within two drawers which is amazing and then I just have extra folders for things I need back here but um, used to be that my cabinets were overflowing and I didn't have this extra space and I, it was just a huge mess and I would have piles everywhere and my husband would have piles everywhere and now we get something in, we pay a bill, we, it just goes directly in the folders and we know exactly where it's going, we can find it later, we need, we have the stuff for taxes and it's pretty, it's neat and organized and I just absolutely love it. So I highly recommend it, you can find it I think, you might be able to find it on Amazon, I'm not sure, but it's called um, Freedom Filer. And so I highly, highly recommend it. I also forgot to mention that I do keep some files in a safe. Um, so any of our like birth certificates, um, car titles, things like that that you want to keep safe, I actually keep in, you know, fireproof safe in folders just like that in my filing cabinet. They're the red tabs. Um, and so those are filed also in my safe just the same way, but for more permanent things that you don't want anything to happen to. Um, so that's another way that you can use them. Alright, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy. Bye.